India is carrying out genocide of Kashmiris by systematically killing them in fake encounters. Basic human rights of people are being violated by detaining them under draconian laws like Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and Public Safety Act. Indian occupation forces have martyred at least 30 Kashmiris in fake encounters or so-called cordon and search operations since 1st October 2021. The unspeakable violence being perpetrated by Hindutva-inspired extremist BJP RSS has turned illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir into an inferno where no one, not even innocent civilians, professionals, women, children and elderly are safe from the state terrorism of Indian forces. Indian troops in their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred 95,917 innocent Kashmiris, including 7,215 in custody, widowed 22,939, orphaned 107,855, and molested 11,245 women since January 1989. Extrajudicial killings of Kashmiris at the hands of Indian troops continued unabated in IIOJK. Thousands of Kashmiri citizens are living miserable life in Indian prisons who have been booked without any legal trials. Recent killing of Zia Mustafa is a glaring example of this wicked practice. Even United Nations has expressed concern over the arrest of a prominent Kashmiri rights activist Khuram Parvez under the stringent anti-terror law by Indian authorities and has called for his release. Pakistan in a comprehensive dossier that laid bare human rights violations and war crimes committed by Indian occupation forces in IIOJK. International community should take immediate notice of Indian state-sponsored terrorism in the occupied valley and to hold India accountable for the stark human rights violations of the innocent Kashmiri people.